Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Delaware Park. I'm your host, JJ Gracie. We'll be watching races from Wednesday, July 13th. We had eight races today. Our seventh race was the feature race. It was a, a other than optional claim in 32,000, going six furlongs. Our main track was fast. Our turf course is in excellent shape. It was good. The weather here at Delaware Park was the temperature in the 80s. Just a very, very light breeze from the south. So with that being said, let's take a look at the first half, the early daily double. That's going to be for a maiden two-year-old's maiden special weight. And let's take a look at the first half, the early daily double. Here's Josh. Away and running. Slow to go is Blackwater Falls. I know you love me from the high draw. Breaks fast, but there goes the favorite Saloon. And Wild Hunt, who was Toey and Stall 1, is right there competing for that early lead. I run a rock is in a joint third position with I Know You Love Me. And Blackwater Falls had a lot of ground to make up as they point towards the far turn run. So Saloon with the money on. He flees the scene and shows the way by almost five. Wild Hunch needs to do a little bit better than that while I Wanna Rock stays at that rail. Blackwater Falls starts to hit his best stride in a wide trip for I Know You Love Me. A quarter of a mile from home, three to five's the number on Saloon as they enter the top of the stretch. In hand, in command, and right now there's no dangers. Trying to hold second is Wild Hunch. Blackwater Falls on the wide outside competing with I Know You Love Me for the balance of the trifecta. But Saloon had a classy run today, and Saloon lived up to the three to five hype in the 1230 opener. Saloon is first, Wild Hunt second, and I know Saloon went gig to wire for Cal Lynch. It was eight, there's a hundred thousand dollar purchase. Saloon gets a job done at 322 42 10. Wild Hunt returned 322 60. I know you love me, returned 220. The dollar exact to 530. The 50 cent try, three dollars and 95 cents. Let's move on over to the second race, claiming 20,000. Non winners of two going six furlongs. Here's your start. Away and running, taking a nasty stumble at the start was buttoned up. Smooth as silk, we're back at you, coming out of stall seven. Always drinking is also right there and buttoned up, recovered to be one of three who's on that fight for the front. Love the land, came away a handy fourth, a gap of two, back to mesmerize, and last of all is run and hide wind. So now the outright lead goes to always drinking under a very strong hole too. Jockey takes a look to his right to see a three-pronged attack right behind that one. Back at just looping up on the far outside. Law of the Land has a sweet rail skimming run. Buttoned Up has had a trouble trip into the turn. Mesmerize trying to pick off that rival and run and hide wind is last of all. The quarter pole fast approaches. Always drinking still has the pace in his hands. Back at just ready to take a crack and the rail is wide open for Law of the Land as they swing in. And there's three across the track of the 3 16th pole and the momentum goes to Back at you who kicks away inside the furlong pole. Law of the Land tries to grab second. Always drinking has no more to give. Late on the scene is run and hide win, but at three to five, back at you wins over Law of the Land. Show photo between run and hide win. Back at you for Jamie Ness gets his 21st. Jamie Rodriguez gets his 39th. His first to three. Back at you claim for 16,000 last night on the race. 340, 220, 220. That's the rest of the story. Law of the Land, 240, 220. Run and hide win, 360, and the four was fourth. Your dollar exact at 360, your 50 cent try, 565. Your daily double, four and seven, 370. Your 10 cent super, $2.46. The third race is for a maiden special weight. The three year olds going six furlongs. There's a good one in here. Away and running. Great speed from Proud Civilian. There goes Coppola to strike the front, and Naval Officer came away in third. Boat Song now lands fourth in front of Ghost of Kozan, and last of all is Front Dancer, who's very wide at the five for long pole. So the pace is on. Coppola gets a bracketed challenge, and that one comes from Proud Civilian to the outside, and Boat Song squeezes on through with four for longs left to go. Four deep is Naval Officer around the one and only turn. Ghost of Kozan still in front of one, and the long shot front dancer last of all. They blaze.
Chase past the three for Long Pogo and Coppola continues the lead and Proud Civilian continues the chase. Boat Song slightly taps on the brakes while a ground saving third and Ghost of Kozan now takes over that fourth place position with a quarter to go. Coppola continues the lead as they turn for home and Coppola swings them in at the 3 16th pole and leads by a length and a half. Ghost of Kozan is trying to get on track a little headstrong in third. Trying to hold second is Proud Civilian, but Coppola continues to pad that lead. Three to five looks sharp today. Coppola was second to none. Proud Civilian was second. Ghost of Kozan got on track late to finish third. Coppola was an $800,000 purchase making his first start here at Delaware Park. Give Jonathan Thomas his fifth, give Rodriguez his second of three, they give him his 40th, and Coppola returned 342, 42, Proud Civilian 32260, goes to Kozan 440, and the uh, two was fourth. Your dollar exact was 460, your 50 cent try 950, 71 daily double 320, and your pick through is worth $3.15. Why your 10 cent super three dollars and 83 cents the fourth race philly mayor optional claim is 16 going five and a half furlongs here's your start here's josh away and running good inside speed from shiro but there goes midtown rose have an uncontested lead and plain drunk to take that second position away baki's in between rivals shiro broke on top soon outpaced and vix cool cat came away in that fourth place position only three lengths would cover tip to tell and the lady in charge is midtown rose but gets a fresh challenger now and shiro probes up the paint and these two at the three and a half go as a team plain drunk under a loose rein tries to keep up in third fix cool cat is wide at the three for long and Baki needs to mount a wing on every hoof to try to beat the top two five sixteenths to go Shiro now takes over the lead Midtown Rose tries to counter in second and there's acres of space back to the rest as they turn for home Shiro now has a decisive lead at the three sixteenths pole and has a one and a half length lead Midtown Rose battling back with Stephanie resolve inside the 220 yard pole Shiro continues the lead Midtown Rose giving game chase in second but she rose clear and shiro has won it over midtown rose and plain drunk shiro ships in from uh, parks and uh, gives elton smith his first gave Zong gonzalez his second and shiro returns 763 42 80 midtown rose big effort 342 20 plain drunk 380 the four was fourth. Your exact was worth 11.10. Your 50 cent try 18.50. Your daily double a pair of one 660. 50 cent pick three eight dollars and 50 cents. Let's move on over to our pick four 15 dollars and you get a 10 cent super refund. Fifth race first of two on the grass today. Philly Mayor claim is 16 going a mile. Here's your lawnmowers. away and running slow start for notion interrupt us good rail speed from no civilian who breaks right on cue petty go girl is pushing the pace right along and makato is a little wide as they move in front of the stands on this first occasion nana shoes under stout restraint to that fourth place position in front of courageous dinah and our tenderoni riveting spirit is caught five deep as they round this first turn second last is beautiful tis and a slow start leaves notion interrupt this last of all with six furlongs to go so in a race over the good going that's void of any speed it's no sniveling dictating the terms and petty go girl is only a neck down in second and makato is fan three wide leaving the first turn behind courageous dina is in between rivals and nana's shoe stays at the rail and those two ladies fight for fourth and our tender roni chases the five ladies up top with only four for longs to go the distant Sixth is Revitine Spirit, and second last is Beautiful Tiz, and last of all is Notion Interrupt This. They point towards the far turn run, and it's a good battle brewing between No Sniveling and Petty Go Girl. Right behind the speed, Courageous Dinah trying to pounce when it counts in that third place position. Makato's coming under a ride. Nana Shu stays at the rail, and Revitine Spirit tries to get on track. They're off the turn, and they're homeward bound. No Sniveling has led them a long way. Petty Go Girl continues the chase. Nana shoes comes up the rail here's reveting spirit coming alive in between rivals and courageous dina fights on two five across the track at the 16th pole here comes the split from riveting spirit no sniveling battles on riveting spirit had the jump and riveting spirit has won it riveting spirit weaving through the fold give andy sim off his second guy rodriguez his third today give him his 41st 
Reverend Spear comes in from Golf Stream Park, went off at 7 to 2, 925-4380. New Shearing, 844-80, Nana Shoes, 340, and the 5 was 4th. Your exact was at 45-20, your 50 cent try, 103.15, your daily double, 22.10, and your pick 3 was worth $23, and your super was worth $63.65. Six race, Philly Mare optional claim at 32, going six furlongs. Here's your start. All set. Away and running. Leah's Legacy came out with a catapulting start. Spicy Margarita is also right there, flashing good speed, and Jet Force is right there, has settled down third. And moving in stereo is in that fourth place position as they are in program order. Romantic Comedy came away in fifth, now headed by Esperanza, and Castellet is also in the back of the pack. They have four for longs to go, and the advantage goes to Spicy Margarita. Spear heads the field of the three and a half, while Jet Force picks up velocity to that second place position. Leah's Legacy starts to back up fast. Castellet is on the far outside but advances nicely and so does Esperana. Moving in stereo has to dig deep and find more. Romantic Comedy is not responding in last. The quarter pole looms and it's Spicy Margarita the one they got to beat today. Spicy Margarita shows the way three quarters of a length. Jet Force is hot on the chase in second and a distant third is Castellet as they swing in. It's Spicy Margarita who slowly inches away from the opposition. Jet Force is clearly second, Castellea holding third, moving in stereo to complete the Superfecta, but it's over up top at 3-2, to two, Spicy Margarita with a convincing win. Jet Force second, Castellea third, and moving in stereo. Give Spicy Margarita, give her a, a margarita. She earned it. Claudio Gonzalez gets his fourth. She came last time out of Delaware Park. She was beaten just two lengths in this spot. Draws clear today. Give Torres his first. Five dollars, two eighty, two forty on a winner. Jet Force for second, five twenty-four dollars. Castagia, three sixty, and a four was fourth. Your dollar exactly ten eighty. Your fifty cent try, twenty-three twenty. Your daily double, seven two twenty-one eighty. Your pick three, thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents. And your super is worth nineteen dollars and seventeen cents. That'll bring us up to the seventh race, which is our feature race today. With a starter line on sixteen, a mile and eighth on the turf. There you go. Okay. Away and running. Slow to go with outrageous bet, but brilliant speed from Unconquered Spirit. Also adding fuel to the fire is Sandy Lane Kitten, and so far looking for four in a row is engaging on that fight for the front as they get ready to link up with the course proper. So Sandy Lane Kitten's the one who leads the charge, so far under a nice tight hold in second, and on the wide outside is Petite Face. The one who broke on top was Wrangled Back, which is Unconquered Spirit under the line fourth for the first time, in it for the Love is a tracking fifth. Outrageous bets in six in front of Morocco, and looking at them all is Love Fletch as they go around this first turn. So from the outside draw, Sandy Lane Kitten shows the way, three quarters of a mile left to go, and that leads only three quarters of a length. So far is right there, a patiently ridden second, and right behind them is Petite Fees going three wide as they leave the first turn behind. On the outside, In It for the Love takes fourth position away under Unconquered Spirit, who's a hard to hold fifth. On the outside, Morocco is traveling. Six second last is outrageous bet, and La Fletcher continues to bring up the rear. Midpoint of the backstretch run with four panels left to go. Sandy Lane Kitten continues to control things all his own way, tracked intently by so far looking for four in a row. Petite Fies is off the fence. In it for the love is between horses. Unconquered Spirit has the run of the race and gets closer too. Midpoint of the second turn, Sandy Lane Kitten playing catch me if you can. The lead is one. So far has chased every step of the way. Unconquered Spirit is ready to roll, but in traffic at the top of the stretch. So Sandy Lane Kitten's the one they got to beat, but here comes Unconquered Spirit, ready to hit its best stride. Far outside Morocco, so far battles on two. At the 16th pole, Sandy Lane Kitten still leading. Unconquered Spirit still chasing. Sandy Lane Kitten has won it. It's anybody's guess who got second in that photo. Sandy Lane Kitten took a gate to wire for Juan Aragata. Uh, last time out, she was in allowance optional claiming. She was second beating just three quarters. Robbie Alvarado Jr. gets his third. The winner return a healthy 24 60 10 46 60. So far, 7 64 80. Morocco was third, seven dollars, and a four was fourth. Your dollar exact is 63 50. Your 50 cent try, a nice 279 dollars. Dollar daily double, two and 12 2010. Your pick three ninety six thirty five. 
and your 50 cent pick five was worth $499.75, or your 10 cent super $198.82. That'll bring us up to the last and the finale. Claiming eight, now winners of three, gone a mile. Here's your finale. Away and running. Good speed from David's Prospect today. Also flashing toe is Gun Hand and four on seven is sent for the lead and the pace is hot. Baby Bull sits behind a trio of fast early pace as they go around the turn. Master of War is a little deep and social equality has to come with a big close. So they go at it hot and heavy at the six and a half for long. And up the inside it's Gun Hand and on the outside four on seven. They couldn't be going any faster and they are nine lanes clear in front of David's Prospect, who's a ground-saving third. Baby Bowl has no excuses today, one path off the rail, and that leaves Master of War three deep and still a lackluster last is social equality. So there's no breathers up top between Gun Hand and Four on Seven, and that pace has already taken its toll because David's Prospect starts to add fuel to the fire, and on the wide outside, Baby Bowl had a steady and then looped four wide. Master of War took the worst of that, and social equality's back at the tail. Around the turn they go, David's Prospect tries to take the lead away from a stubborn gun hand today. They are two lanes clear in front of Baby Bull who tries to get on track and catching the eye from out of the clouds is Social Equality in fourth of the five sixteenths. They have a quarter to go. Gun hand has the pace in his hands but how much gas is left in the tank? Social Equality continues this mid-track charge as they turn for home. Here comes Social Equality. Here comes Master of War. David's Prospect is resurgent on the rail and gun hand has no more to give at the final furlong and it's David's prospect to take the lead social equality is fighting on master of war tries to come up over the top of three prong battle only yards to the finish and master of war has won it a place photo between master of war draws clear on the pace arrived by John Geraldo give Ralph Riviers of his third give John his eighth the winner went off it paid five sixty-two dollars two twenty. Social equality three eighty-two sixty. David's prospect was third three dollars, and a four was fourth. Your exact at eight eighty. Your try fifteen eighty. Your daily double twenty-three seventy. Your pick three twenty-nine fifty-five, and your pick four was worth two hundred forty-six dollars and fifteen cents. Ten cents super fourteen dollars and forty-four cents. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. You see Jamie Rodriguez. He picked up three today. He has forty-one. Angel Suarez get ones, he is 15. That's the, and John Geraldo got one, he is seven. Michael Sanchez got one also. Let's look at the leading trainers. Jamie Ness gets one, is, 20, is 21. Cal Lynch picked up one, is 11. Nothing else changed there today. That was a look at today's races. We'll give you the handle here momentarily. That was a look at races today from Wednesday, the 13th, $1,417,707. We'll be back here again tomorrow at 12.30 with eight races. So for Mike McNulty, for Elaine Tapman, Chris Rooney, and all the guys here on TV, good night and good racing. And we'll always, I always want to see you at the races. <laughs>